This video is mostly going to be a tutorial on how to use the pen tool in Photoshop to cut out buildings and objects. Before we get to that though, the first thing I'm going to do is just grab the object selection tool in Photoshop to create a selection for the trees. This object selection tool is absolutely incredible for things like this. So we've created that selection. I'm going to save it now. And just while we're working through this tutorial, I'll use my Pulsar black and white plugin to save selections and to work with them. However, if you don't have the plugin, you can get it on the link below, or you can use the channels panel to save your selections. So for example, we'll show the channels way first. Basically, once you've got a selection active, come into the channels panel, hit the button down here that says save selection as channel. And then you can see that here we now have alpha one as a new channel, and you can rename that to trees if that's what you wanna do or using my black and white plugin, we can just hit this button here, save active selection, name it like so, trees, click okay. And now we have it here. So that's the quick intro out of the way, just there creating the trees selection. Let's get to the meat of this one and we'll use the pen tool over here. So I'm not gonna use any of these other options, freeform or any of this, it's just gonna be the straightforward pen tool. So let's figure out what we want to actually select first so basically the buildings that i'm interested in for this image are going to be these three main buildings here not the one behind i'm actually going to delete that and remove it from the image later and also these bits up here behind this building on the left so we're just after the main three buildings one two and three now the key here is not to try and select them all individually so we're not going to be selecting this one building on the left and then this one building in the middle and then the one building on the right because the chances of us lining up our selections absolutely pixel for pixel perfectly between like the left building and the middle building, the chances of us getting that right are gonna be very, very slim. So what I'm gonna do first is actually create a selection for all three buildings. So let's zoom in, come up here and we'll start in the corner. And the way the pen tool works, we're creating a path between points. So I'm just gonna start adding my first point there, click of the mouse, then I'll click here, and I can see that I've not placed my first one in the right place, so that's a good start. Well done, Steve. So, okay, <laughs> let's uh, do that now. And yeah, we can see that hasn't, yeah, for some reason, there's a bit of a bend. So if you create a line between two points like this, and you need to adjust one of the points or you need to maybe adjust the middle of the, the line. You can hold on the keyboard uh, control on a PC, which is command on the Mac and click and drag these points to move them around after you've already placed them. So I'm putting this one pretty much dead on the line there, but there's still a bit of a gap in the middle. So now I'm gonna click once with the mouse without anything held in on the keyboard. That's gonna add another point there, which I can now command or control, click and drag to just adjust that point in the middle without moving the other two points that I've created. So I think what's probably happened here is that I've forgotten to fix the lens distortion in Lightroom before I brought this into Photoshop. So that's why that building's got a slight curve to it. But anyway, let's carry on. Now most of these, the rest of these lines should be quite straight. So it's good when we have these uh, straight lines because we can just create our points without worrying about going around curves and things like that. So remembering I'm not interested in this building at the back. So I'm just gonna go from this point here straight down to here, undo that, Command or Control Z, get that absolutely spot on. And then we'll just trace the, uh, the lines and I'm probably gonna to have to zoom in quite a long way here just to get this absolutely right. Now it's gonna take a while, but you want it to be accurate. And the reason I prefer using the pen tool and not the uh, any of the selection tools is just because it's easier to press Command or Control Z to undo if you place something in the wrong place. And then also the fact that you can adjust points between two other points, like I just showed you, you can't do that when you're using like the lasso tool or anything like that. So I'll just continue around here until we get to a more difficult bit that we need to uh, focus on. So I'll probably fast forward this little bit now.
Okay, we got to the end of this line around the top edge of the buildings here. Now what we need to do is just come around here, just encapsulate the entire image and then close the circle, close the loop by clicking on that first point that we added. And now that's created and finished the path. Now we need to right click and choose make selection. Keep feather at zero and just keep all the rest of this the default. Click OK. And now we have a selection that is basically everything south of the top edge of these buildings. All right. So with that done, you can either go ahead and save it in your channels panel or using the uh, Pulsar black and white plugin, we can just hit save active selection like that. And we can call this buildings plus trees. Click OK. And now we have buildings plus trees saved as a selection here. Over here, we've got that in the channels panel as well. We can see that. So if you wanted to use the channels panel to save, then this is where you would come and hit save as before. But let me deselect that. What we've got now with the panel is that we can select the trees again just by clicking the trees button. We can select the building plus trees by clicking that button. But where the black and white plugin really comes in handy now is that we can easily subtract the trees from this selection. So we have the building plus trees selection active. Now we can subtract the trees by pressing the minus button over here. So now this is just the buildings not including the trees in front. So now we can save this as a new selection, buildings minus trees. So we're gonna have building including the trees and the buildings minus the trees. So now we have this. What can we do to create individual selections for each of the buildings? What I'm gonna start off by doing is creating a selection just for the middle building. So we'll use the pen tool for that as well. So let me deselect. And I'm just going to draw a pretty rough selection on some edges, not on others, but let's make sure that we get this line here absolutely perfect. So that's going to come down this way. I think that will do it there. Let's come across this way and let's join it back up where we start to see the edge of the building like so. All right, I need to zoom in a bit for this. Just move that over there, Command or Control, and I can, no, hang on. Command or Control to drag this point, just get it a little bit more accurate. And now I can come up here and just go around some of these curved edges. So it looks like we have a little koala up here on the uh, corner of the building. Now, when you have a curved edge like this with the pen tool, we've got one point here. Actually, let me just tug that in a little bit more. We've got one point here, and then I'm gonna just draw a straight line here with another point to where the curve needs to uh, go to. And then when we go back to doing straight lines like this, I'm gonna add another point on this line that needs to be curved. And then with control or command held on the keyboard, I can click and drag that point down here. And if just moving it around like this, you can't quite get it to line up perfectly, then you've got these other control points here, which you can drag to just slightly adjust the pitch of the, uh, the curve there. So I think that is pretty good where it is. Let me just zoom in a little bit more. I wonder if we can just move this point down. So holding command or control, just shift that down a little bit more, really tuck in against our koala. And yeah, that's how we can create curved edges to our selection. So I'll just carry on again around here like this. Here we go. This is what we've cut out so far. Now, what I'm going to do here is just click around the top edge there to join the uh, to join the path and finalize the path there. So we have this that kind of encapsulates the building, but it goes over into the background 
Let's make a selection from this, click OK. And now we'll save this as main building temp, for example. So MB temp or middle building temp, click OK. So now we have building and trees and we have MB temp. Building and trees, MB temp. Now how do we use these two selections to create something that is just going to isolate only the building? Well, we can intersect them. So we can create a selection that only includes the areas where these two selections overlap. And we can do that by first selecting one of them. So in this case, let's go building minus trees. And then we can use this X button to intersect it with the MB temp that we just created. Now, because this building plus trees has got that correct edge along the top there and doesn't go over into the sky, that's not going to include any of this stuff here that we went over and around into the background. So let's load the building minus tree selection, click the intersect button on the MB temp. And there we have a selection that is just the main building. So let's save that now, save active selection, main, well, let's call it middle, middle building. Okay. Now we have middle building, middle building temp. We can get rid of that hit the delete button. So we've got middle building, building minus trees. We can probably get rid of the building plus trees as well, just to keep things tidy here. So how can we use these two selections now to create selections for the left and right buildings? Well, we can load the selection for all the buildings minus the trees, and then we can actually subtract the middle building from this. All right, so let's do that now and see what we're left with. So we're left with building left and building right. So let's save this as a temporary selection. Save as left, right, temp. And now we can deselect. Now we don't actually have to save a selection here to use these intersect and minus buttons and whatnot. So what we can do is let's say we'll just grab the lasso tool, draw a rough selection around this building on the left over here. And then we can intersect that with the left, right temp. So this intersect button, and there we go. That is isolating just the building on the left. So let's save that. Hit save. Now we have left building. We can do the same thing for the building on the right. So let's just draw a rough circle around it and then intersect it with left, right temp. And that is now our selection for the building on the right, save. And there we go, we can get rid of LR temp, delete that, deselect, and now we have trees, building minus trees, middle building, left building, right building. So let's have a look at what that looks like in the channels panel, just to confirm. So we've got the trees, buildings minus trees, middle, left, and right. And now because we actually used the selections to cut them out from one another, those lines, those edges that we're creating between the left building and the right building, they are going to line up perfectly. Now, everything that I've shown you here, where we used the Pulsar black and white plugin to subtract and intersect selections with one another can be done in the channels panel using various keyboard shortcuts to load and intersect and subtract and whatnot. So Let's say you don't want to get the black and white plugin, that's fine. Let's just show you quickly if you're not familiar already with uh, how to do that. I mean, this is a tutorial about the pen tool really, and just how we can use that to cut the buildings out in the first place. But just for a little bit of completeness, let's say we have our building minus trees selection or channel over here, and we want to subtract the middle building. What we do first is control or command click to load the building plus tree at uh, building minus trees uh, channel as a selection. And now with control and alt held in on the keyboard or command and option on a Mac, we can subtract the middle building from that and then save it as a new one like so. Uh, and then to intersect, what you can do is again with this tool here you can create your uh, your what's it your selection 
and then in the channels panel to intersect it is control alt and shift and then click to intersect there and then you can save it like so now if you'd like to see how to use the black and white plugin to fully develop this image into this end result then i can show you a video that i recorded a month or so ago for my monthly insiders members where we used a an early version of the plugin but with a lot of the same functionality if you'd like to see that then i'll put a link in the description below and you can sign up to my email list and i'll send you that video directly to your email otherwise if you'd like to just go ahead and get the plugin there's also a link in the description for that as well